What's up, guys? It's me, if you want to be here. Yes, this is a, um, it's a Magic 8 D20. It's, it's a 20 sided Magic 8 ball of dice. I actually had to hack open an old Magic 8 ball of mine that was basically dead. Well, it wasn't mine, like my teacher gave it to me because I stuck it on the lamp and melted it and shit. My hands are pink on that screen. Ah, uh, no, that's just the angle I was looking at it. Anyways. So, yeah, that's sad. That's not what this video is about, though. This video is about this. Yes, this. LCD crap. And there's lots of it, that shit. Well, some of it's LCD crap, some of it's just like, well, like that's obviously not LCD. But we'll get, we'll get to all of this. This is probably going to be a pretty long video, I might have to split it up into two parts. So I guess first, let's put this to the side first, you know, something random. Crash Nitro Kart, the LCD game. But who is this by? There's no copyright or anything. And it's still, ha I, I'm, I feel stupid to still have the fucking dust-covered door on this thing. But hey, I collected them back in the day. Oh, yeah. You, I'm not actually going to be able to, I'm probably not actually going to be able to play this one. Because guess what? This is one of those games where you have to fucking blind yourself by aiming at the sun and playing it. Like, was it too much to ask to have a fucking back... To have a fucking background. So I'm not really gonna... I'm probably not gonna be playing that one. Well. Yeah, no. Besides, it's your, it's your typical way. You know what? Here. Hold on. Aim it Skyward. And yes. Skyward Sword reference intended. Oh boy. Can you see it? This is not comfortable. Ah, shit. On me. Fucking hell. Alright, can you see it? Put a little switch here in the back. This is harder trying to play it through the screen. Fuck it. Fuck the thing. What? Ah, god, I can't even see. As you can tell, the batteries in this thing are dying. <sighs> yeah, fun. It's your basic McDonald's LCD thing. Don't think I have to go into much detail about that. Okay, hold on, let me flip the camera down so you're not burning your retinas. There's a picture of, uh... And of Haiti in the back, uh, not picture, but, you know, painting of Haiti in the background, and pool table does look like shit. Yes, this is that same pool table from many, many videos. As you can tell, I'm part, if you guys want me, if you guys want to want me to review, uh, LC, a certain LC thing, I have a couple rules to that, which I'll go over in a, se a separate video. Next, since I guess it's out, is, is this on? No, okay. Is... So I can fucking see. Super Monkey Ball. Now, for those who don't know, this is a Sega game. This was also a McDonald's toy, which I used to. I was a McDon. I was a McJunkie back then. Hey, right, can you guys see that? Like I said, it's like your basic move arounder. Just collect, collect enough bananas to uh, beat the level. Fun. Shit. No. This is hard playing it through the uh, viewfinder or through the the screen because it's delayed. Oh fuck. Is this delayed through the screen? Blah, 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 blah. Screw it. You guys get the point. It's it's okay. It's fun to play. I've beaten it a bunch of times. It's really easy. Oh yeah, while cutting that eight ball open, I did suffer a bit. But yeah, it's a really easy game. Next, next. All right. All right. Grab that. Fell. Damn it. Is this is. It's like, you know, uh, the rubric, rubrics, rubrics, god damn it, rubrics, and, 
Rubik's Evolution is the cube. Rubik's Revolution is the cube. Evolution. Yes, I still remember that rhyme. Well, this is that. Oh my god, that noise. You hit the orange block, and you have to find the... It's just like Rubik's Revolution. It's a, it's a mini one, like your keychain. Oh, funny. That's probably the best I've done on my own. Yeah, that's the down sound it makes. It's just Rubik's Revolution. Is this the good one? No, it is not. Just so you know, it's... Yeah, you guys might remember these if... If you're like me, you might remember these, the, how they started doing... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, no, this isn't a good one. If you guys remember these, they, they started doing a line of Xbox LCD things, and they sucked. Luckily, I have another one here, and it's in, in perfect condition. Like, when I got it, it even saw the fucking mic ta tag on it. I shit you not. Alright, so... Um... Oh, well, I already failed. Yeah, that's so weird. That's, uh, it's just like a dancing game. Are you fucking kidding me? I hit the back hand. Okay. You guys get the idea. It's 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 just a stupid Xbox LCD game. But wait, there's more. I have another Xbox LCD game. That's right. I have another one. There was like four of these. It's on. Fucking a. Looks kind of like a um, primitive Wii nunchuck, doesn't it? Or like some sort of primitive remote from the 80s. Actually, wait, before I start the game. So you have this big dial here, which has a spring and it goes back to the center and stuff. And you also have this trick on the back. That's like kind of like your fire button. My ass is sliding on this chair. Give me a second. Move my tool toolbox out of the way, that should help. Alright, so, uh, what's the, what does that say? Xbox, you, made, okay, this was actually, these were actually made in Kellogg, so. God damn, that switch sounds like it's gonna break. The, uh, dial determines where you aim, and I, I hope you guys can see the screen. Boop, beep, boop, beep, beep. God, now I know what Ashens has to go through. Bloody crap here. Or, uh, sorry. We have electronic tat here. Yeah, that, that's what he would say. Electronic tat. That's exactly what this bloody is. Fuck. I'm, well, I'm done with that. Next. Hey, how about some good old-fashioned Spyro? I know this is Spyro I used to have the door for, but then some fucker I let it... This. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Is it off? Is it off? Okay, it's off. 
Alright, so, this is how the control works. Just like that retarded Xbox one, it's got some sort of weird joystick or dial thing I don't even know how to work. It's like, did Tiger Electronics design these games? Actually, I have something by Tiger. I'll get to that in a second. But, yeah, it's the, you might notice that this looks deviously like, um, the Crash Bandicoot one. Well, guess what? They're by the same people, so, yeah. In fact, I have another crash one which we'll get to. I guess it's not in here. Well, I'll find it. Anyways, do Spyro. Wow, that sounded amazing. Oh great, the button's not even fucking working. Shit. Nope. I know I'm doing- I know I kind of gave up on this one quickly, but look at that, the screen's not even on properly. You hear that? The screen is- the plastic cover is loose. Electronic tap. N what? No. Actually, no. We'll do that one for later. Um, uh, here. Now, before I- here we go. Sonic Racing. Before I start this one up, remember how this one sounded? Listen to this. I also know the buttons. But listen to this one. I used to have two ones of this. Listen to the, listen to the startup sound for this one. If it, if it chooses to work. Work! God, this old shit, you have to be careful. There we go. Listen to the start noise. And the sound effects. Sound familiar? It's the same soundboards at a lower pitch. Actually, I think this one may have come out first. But I'm gonna beat this one just for the sake of it. I, I don't know why, but I always used to have trouble. Fuck! Too early. It's a simple... Raising pattern it always repeats. And it gets faster. Hope you guys can see that. I'm actually playing with my own eyes now. Well, that's not bad. Not like I really care for this thing, it's a piece of shit. I guess this is based off of Sonic Drift or something? That's the only Sonic game I know, the only Sonic racing game I know. Oh, there's also that one stupid one, whatever, for the Dreamcast Sonic R. But we won't talk about that one. Oh, fuck. I forgot it goes on crack with the speed. Shit. See that at the top it's blinking? And then, yeah, that's it. There's no other races, because it's a basic LCD game. There's no other races to race. That is it. But yeah, I didn't beat, I know I didn't beat the, uh, the Super Monkey Ball one, but trust me on this, that has got the same ending noise, too. The bleep, 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 thing. It's got the same thing as this. Okay, it's, it's literally the same game, it's, this is literally this, but repackaged as this, you know, remade into this with diff with different gameplay mechanics. So, double tap. Uh, that's a, uh, first series Sonic uh, LCD game. They made a second series, which I'll get to. Son of a, there we go. Here's another one. A first, a, a a Tales game first series. Hope it still works. Yeah, this one is really old. I remember it was really hard though. It's but like okay, I remember what the gameplay was though. I at least remember that. 
It's literally they took this, but made it with tails, and instead of moving left to right, you move up and down. So yeah, it even uses the same, look at that. Look at this. All three of these use the same, reuse the same fucking buttons. Holy crap, that is lazy. And uh, again, LC games, what are you gonna do? Sure, why not? This is some motorcycle game by I'm not sure who. Actually, I think this is the one by one. Wait, it says something on the side. Did don't know if you guys can read that. It says Digis Sports. Wish my camera had like some sort of out of focus. You got the little screen there, and the motorcycle is your joystick. Oh no. It's the farting motorcycle game. Oh god. As far as I know, there's only left and right control. I don't think you can go, you can go any faster or slower. And this is it. It's basically almost like the same thing as, uh... It's like... Imagine a really shitty version of Road Rash Mobile. So yeah, that's that. Also, interesting thing is, you can actually turn the, uh... Motorbike, but when it's like this, you can't turn left or right. However, you can turn it this way, and you, you turn left and right. But yeah, this one's okay. I'll let it slide. The design looks kind of weird. It's like a motorcycle on a, uh... What are those things? You know, the, the jet speeder things that they use in the water. How about some Knuckles and the Master Emerald with... Suspiciously Mario-looking graphics, huh? So the point of this game is you you're, you play as Knuckles and you're trying to get the Master Emeralds. Also note the controls, they look like little Master Emeralds or Chaos Emeralds, whatever. Damn it! That's bullshit, I went right through it! Whatever, you get the point. This is a second generation uh, Sonic the Hedgehog LCD game, or it's a Knuckles the Echidna LCD game. You know what I mean. There was also a first, there was first gen for everybody. There was first gen, you know what I mean, first series, Knuckles and all that. I don't have the second generation Sonic LCD game, but I remember seeing it. It's like Sonic skateboarding. And it's probably, it was probably shit anyways. This is a really old LCD football game. I'll replace the battery in it sometimes. Good old Mickey D's. If you not. Um... I'm missing, a, I'm missing a couple LCD games. Well, shit. Um, I guess next we'll play. Is this the, the working version? Billy Hatcher. Again, not a fair. This is another. This is one of those uh, not very well known um, Sega games. Like I don't even remember. It. All I know is it was a Sega game on the GameCube. That's about it. And the left button is stuck. Oops! Son of a bitch. Ran out of time. But yeah, the button got stuck. Well, good thing I have another copy of it. And both buttons are, are fully functional. So, let's try this again, shall we? Go collect the fucking eggs. Easy enough. But yeah, that's that. It's it's basically, like I said, it's like almost the same thing as the Super Monkey Ball game, except for it's Billy Hatcher. 
But it's got different uh, things. It's like a different control setup. Battery. Yeah, just your normal fucking battery. And... Okay, this one doesn't, te technically doesn't count as, as LCD crap, but it's electronic tat. Don't know if you can hear that, but the battery in this thing is slowly dying. It's a Guitar Hero mini guitar. And it's dying. Yeah, someone left it on too long. And wait! But wait! There's one more! It is... I want you guys just to guess by what by how the screen looks. I want you guys to guess what game this is. Can Tetris. Now hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some triplets. Okay, so we're back and we have batteries. You can see the tripod stand there. I love this game. So anyways, I decided if I'm going to open it, I might as well open it on camera. Get my screwdriver in here. Get this open. There we go. Bastard takes two triple A's, by the way. That's my one downside, is it takes triple A's. But, better than double A's. Better triple A's than fucking double A's. I also have uh, six quadruple A's, too. I actually opened up a... Uh, what are they called? A uh, nine-volt uh, nine battery. And there we go. So you can see that. Oh, yeah, and it's got this... It's got this little sensor here that uh, when it gets too dark, it, it automatically lights up. That's much greener than it actually is. It's not that color green. But it lights up the screen so you can see it. I'm going to have to find a comfortable way to this. Ah, shit, that was stupid. I can't do that. <laughs> that hurts my voice now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys get it. It's Tetris. Oh yeah, but it doesn't actually turn off. You have to wait for it to turn off. You guys get it. It's 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 Tetris. You know, everyone's favorite Russian mind game. That's literally what it was called before. It was the Russian mind game Tetris. So yeah, that's about it. There's a couple LCD games I couldn't find and couldn't play. But, yeah, I might actually be able to find them. Actually. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find the, um, the games I was looking for. So, that's it uh, for this video. If I end up finding them, I will make a video. I'll record a video of it. Oh, you know what? I actually left out something. Diet Coke, but you guys all know that. But 20 questions. It's basically 20 questions. I don't, that doesn't need a whole lot of... Uh, that doesn't need a whole lot of introduction. So that's the uh, electronic tap for the day. As, again, as Ashens might say. Peace out.